All right, I've got to take down a little bit of this tail on the inside of the leg because I've got to add clay to it for the tail. And I've got too much of a lump there. So it's going to be the tail today. And we'll see how far I can get. There's, I'm running out of things to do on this thing, uh, this piece, and uh, which means I'm getting close to being done. And that's the good news. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm just uh, adding the uh, fur to the tail. Fur. <laughs> I'm sorry. The hair to the tail. <laughs> Man, I'm losing my mind. It's really hard for you to see what I'm doing because it's in an odd place. And, uh, well, I could do that. All right, don't let it be said that I don't try every angle I can. This is the view from the ground camera. <laughs> I literally laid my camera on the ground below the uh, tail and uh, to show you what I'm doing. I'm just doing some of the short hairs on the back of the tail. Now, I got to be very careful not to have any deep gaps in the hair. Because if I do, it's going to be hard to make a mold of it. It won't be hard to make a mold of the latex rubber mold part. What'll be hard is when they make a ceramic mold of the wax that they pull from the rubber mold. If they're deep cuts, it's hard to get that ceramic mold out of the deep cuts. And uh, they have to have that clean when they pour the bronze so or the when after they pour the bronze so that that mold doesn't show up because if you can't get all the mold out of the uh or ceramic mold out of the uh, bronze or off the bronze that ceramic mold shows up as a white area because the patina does not take on that uh material so, it's it's complicated, but uh, after you've cast a few bronzes, you start realizing what you have to do to have a good mold and a good casting and how you can help the foundry to uh, reduce the time it takes to work on a bronze. That's what cost is the time to clean the bronze after it's cast. If they spend two days cleaning it, that's two days of charges it almost probably, I'm just going to guess, $50 an hour, maybe more of cleaning time, and that's expensive. And that also increases this, the selling price of your bronze. So you have to do everything you can to try to make the bronze a little more reasonably priced. Now this is not going to be a cheap bronze to cast, no matter what I do, because it's just the nature of the, the bronze itself. 
the four legs of the horse. All that has to be molded and cast. And uh, it gets expensive when you do a horse and a person on it. Let alone all the detail that I put into this thing. Okay, I got the tail just about done. And boy, you really have to be careful not to get carried away with that. And I think I might be right on the borderline of being too much. So, I'm going to call it quits right there. Okay, I'm going to probably be taking this to the boundary next week, the beginning of next week. So. Because I don't think I'll make it this week. I just want to make sure everything's kosher before I go. I'm using the smooth side of the uh, loop. What I'm trying to do is just smooth those areas where I've, my fingernails hit it. All right, I'm going to start texturing the ground a little bit. It's got holes in it too. And I want to take some of those holes out. I'll come back when I get a little bit further along with this. These are some of the uh, finalizing moments here. All right, I got to balance out the base a little bit. I got a few rocks over here, but not a rock at all over here. So I've got to rock this place. <laughs> but I'm being careful not to overdo it. And again, the sharp edges underneath these things uh, that start air empty, you know, where it cuts into the uh, base uh, is uh, just stuff that they have to uh, cast around. It ain't easy, easy but it ain't hard to make rocks. You just... Uh, Try to make them the way you remember rocks looking like. There's no set design to them. Maybe one more here. There we go. That's enough. All right, next time I'm gonna work on his uh, blanket and finish that hand and then clean up the uh, clay a little bit. All right, have a good night. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.